Hello, I'm Dr. Dan Hunt. I'm an orthopedic surgeon employed at Springview Hospital in Lebanon. I've been here for 23 years and I'm a Canadian. I was born in the province of Alberta, which is in the western part of Canada, north of Montana. I was raised in a small town there. I took my medical training at the University of Alberta, received my uh, doctor of medicine there, and was accepted into the College of Physicians and Surgeons. And then went on to advanced orthopedic training at the University of Calgary. In 1995, uh, the hospital and medical community here in Lebanon um, invited me to come and join them on staff and I accepted and uh, I've had a fairly busy practice for the last 23 years. Orthopedic surgery is the branch of medicine that deals with the musculoskeletal system. It uh, deals with muscles and tendons. Uh, bones and joints. It has the attachment of surgery on the end because mm. surgery is the end result of what we do. We attempt to treat things conservatively and as long as we can do that with uh, therapeutic uh, exercises and medicines, we do that. I was once told that uh, a surgeon is just a physician that's completed his training because once those fail, once the conservative treatments fail, um, we go on to uh, either replace joints or repair them, and, and that's the surgical aspect of what I do. In Kentucky, there is a lot of trauma. A lot of people on four-wheelers and a lot of unfortunate motor vehicle accidents. And so trauma is a big part of what we do in orthopedics. It's fracture care and treatment of, of injury. There are a significant uh, number of people, too, with, with joint ailments. That entails several different types of arthritis. Uh, but the most common is the osteoarthritis, which is just a de degenerative joint disease. It, um, it affects lifestyles and as much as it slows down people's ability to do their normal activities. The end result of that, like I said before, is, is a joint replacement. We do uh, a lot of that. Um, it's been my opportunity to uh, not only um, in my training back in Calgary, but also since coming to Kentucky to uh, learn and be uh, certified and qualified in, in different joint replacement techniques. Reverse total shoulders, um, Oxford hemiarthroplasties of the knee, which is a partial joint replacement of the knee, and the anterior hip approach are just three examples of things that I've, I've developed and, and have learned um, over my time in Kentucky. There is a particular degree of, of family value that occurs in a small town and I have uh, four young ladies that work for me and they've they work for me for most of my career here actually we really strive to have a family atmosphere in the office and in my practice um, I think that it's really important you know I you sometimes get asked well if it was your daughter or if it was your son if it was your grandmother um, and that that actually is a really good question because that's how we, we strive to, to treat people always in the office. And I think that it, it just allows for a closer knit community and the fact that you don't have to go outside um, and deal with people who maybe see you once or twice. Um, the familiarity and the closeness of uh, proximity allows for people to have their answers to their questions more freely, I think. Lebanon is a, a unique combination of, of progressive thinking um, with old-time values, and, and it's, it's a nice blend of that. Springview is a, is a great small hospital. It's, it's close-knit and it's home. I think, I think the most important thing is that uh, people are able to be treated in their hometown. The convenience is important. Um, but more importantly, the, you're treated by family and you're treated by people who um, know you for the most part or, or know your family. I grew up, if you will, in an academic community. There just wasn't that continuity of care that you can um, have while you're at, at home in, in your hometown. I strive to um, have my patients call me at any time that they have problems or have questions. And I think that that just gives them a better sense of belonging um, and, and being a part of their care. Having been here for 23 years, the 
the practice has, has evolved somewhat from a practice of, of getting to know people to um, having a good solid patient base of people who uh, come because they know me or send their family members or um, bring their friends and um, although I'd like to, that to continue and, and that is the strength of a practice that's been around for a while. Um, I still endeavor to seek out those people who don't know me or don't know my practice and, and would uh, look forward to, to treating them in the future.